Welcome to Epic Studio. This video is the very first part of lecture series on probability, which serve as the foundation for developing state estimation algorithms in the future. In the first chapter, we will discuss the basic concept of a variable and what it means to realize a variable. You might have learned the concept of variables from middle school. So what does a variable actually do? A variable represents a value that is yet to be realized. To realize a variable is to cause it to take a value either by assigning or making an observation. To have some intuition about realizing a variable, let us take a look at a basic example. Assume that we have a box full of marbles. Can you tell me how many marbles this box contains? The number of marbles in the box is yet to be assigned nor observed. However, we can represent this unknown quantity by using a variable, in this case, an uppercase letter N. Let's say that we look inside the box and find out that there are a total of 10 marbles in the box. Therefore, the variable N is realized to be 10. When a variable is realized, its result is what we call a realization. For this example, the realization of variable n is 10. Now, let us assume that this box is a perfectly normal box. If we observe its content multiple times, we will get the same result. Some may say that n is a constant due to the fact that the result remains unchanged. This is not the case if we remove one of the marbles from the box. Without making an observation, we can predict with 100% certainty that the realization of n is now 9. Therefore, n is a variable and not a constant. When the behavior of a variable can be predicted with 100% certainty, we call this variable a deterministic variable. Let us take a look at another example, where we draw a marble from the same box without looking at it. Let a variable d denote the color of the drawn marble. In this example, the box contains both red marbles and blue marbles. Therefore, the variable d can take on the value of red or blue. Let us apply an observation. In this case, the drawn marble appears to be blue. Therefore, the realization of variable d in this trial is blue. Let us put the marble back in the box and draw another one. In this case, the drawn marble is red. Therefore, the realization of the variable D in this trial is red. If I were to ask you to predict the color of the marble in the next trial, you can't guarantee the outcome due to the random nature of our experiment. Since we cannot predict the variable D with 100% certainty, we can call this variable a random variable. Let us recap what we learned today. We have learned that we can make an observation of a variable. Its observed outcome is what we call a realization. We have also learned that if we are given all the necessary information, we can predict the realization of a deterministic variable with 100% certainty. And finally, we also learned that there is no way that we can predict the realization of a random variable with 100% certainty. Thank you for watching and see you next time.